Yeah, yeah he said a lot of uh, bad things about Islam. He, he said a lot, and I can't act like they have it, so I'm definitely going to talk to him about it right now. Right, he said a lot of things about me personally as well. He's a waste man. Oh, really? Yeah. This is good. Ryan okay. Garcia. Okay. Ryan oh, Garcia? Yeah. yeah right oh, there. the boxer? He, yeah, he's there, and the, he's there right there. And what's he saying? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say about Islam? Yeah, what, what did he say, Fuzi? What did he say? What did he say about Islam? Well, I, I don't know what he's talking about Islam. That was directly when he talked about Sneaker, but what he said about Palestine is that the biblical rights is given to Israel and Palestine doesn't exist. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So I'm uneducated. I don't even... I don't want to even say nothing, can I? Because before... Anyways, bro. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. I'll talk to you after the stream, Fuzi. Yeah, we'll talk like him. The boxer. The boxer, yeah? yeah I, know. I don't want to even say nothing about my man because one... When push comes to shove, bro, you can't disrespect Islam. No, he's, he's, been, he's been extremely disrespectful about Islam. I was surprised he even showed his face into the camera just like that. Um, yeah. I mean, but isn't he like a midget? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like 5'11". Five, 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 yeah. So it's like probably small man syndrome, right? But maybe it was a small man syndrome to you and Muhammad Hijab. No, 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 but 5'9". Five, 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 huh? 5'9". 5'9". But we ask Allah, in a, in a fight. we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide him. We ask Allah to May Allah guide him. May Allah guide him. May Allah give him the knowledge that is uh, uh, that is beneficial to him and his akhirah. I mean, may Allah guide him. Yeah. May Allah guide him. Yeah. Allah guide him. No, no, we don't do debates. No, we don't. We don't do debates. No, no, we don't do that. We don't do that rubbish as well, fam. Mm -hmm. Can someone remind me what he said about Islam? He was in a, a Twitter space with me. And he, was, he said some things towards you as well, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, yeah. I think he, to, to be honest with you, I think he had a manic episode. Yeah. I think he's got bipolar as well. I think he's got a manic episode. Yeah. yeah. Does that justify what he said and his act? Because he said he, he said a lot of things about me personally he, as well. He should have to say. After his manic episode, he should have come out and apologized for saying the stuff that he said. I think he did. He did. He did apologize, and then he got fired from the. Um, the WBC commission. He's, well, he's he not. He, he didn't. He, he didn't apologize yeah, to me so directly. He was very specific in all of his apologies. Yeah. He made one generic apology. He blamed me for his crashing out. He said that uh, I got in his head about Christianity or something, and then he said uh, I let Sneeko get in my head. This is why I said negative things about Islam. No, no, he needs to take accountability for his actions. I think he should actually come off social media. You think so? Yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm, watch, I'm watching him on, on Twitter and stuff like that. I just, I think he's. He's insane, bro. It doesn't sound but very... But it's boredom as well. It's boredom as well. Yeah. No, no, honestly, he looks like no. he's, got, he's got mental... You can see clearly he's got mental disorder. Clearly, he's, he's mentally disturbed. Akhid, do you believe... Fu is it... Was it Fuzi? Yeah. Do you believe Fuzi is the best person to talk to him right now? Because we don't want nothing to happen to Fuzi. I'm he's right in the head right now. He's doing good. No, no, no. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So my man's keeping up. It's actually the one year anniversary I since his mental... Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. No one takes him su his intellectual opinion seriously. No one cares about his, his actual social opinions. He, he's literally a good boxer. That's all he is. He's a good boxer. We'll, we'll watch him fight. And he's had like a decline recently. With all like, even his last fight was overturned because of drugs. He's a good boxer though, he can't take that away from me. I wouldn't take that away from him. But apart from that, his, his intellectual opinions or social opinions and stuff, I would like. Yeah, I told him about Israel about uh, several months ago and he didn't listen. He started insulting me in Islam. I, I thought he was pro Palestine. Mm. No, and then he started saying that uh, Israel is the chosen land and the stuff and, uh, you know, Judeo Christian values. And then he saw Dan Bozerian talk about it, Israel and he's like, wait, did Israel do 9 11? Did Israel, you know, are they the bad. I'm like, I tried to tell you months ago and you didn't listen, so. I mean, whatever, I don't really care. Here's Rocky yeah, apparently, Yemen. Apparently, he donated the whole purse to Palestine, but now you know that's cat. He kept all that money, dude. Really? Yeah, that's what he Where's the doing? evidence for? Yeah. What would you expect? What organization did you pay that's going, all that money is going to Palestine? And at one point, everybody was raising money for Palestine, but nothing was getting in. Nothing was getting in. Yeah. Where's that money going to? Mm -hmm. There's certain... I was a handful of charities, I think Muhammad Hijab, you know, it was only a handful of charities that had access getting in. And that's because I think the Egyptians gave them full authority to go in because of who they are and their experience and their connection. Apart from that, every other charity said, yeah, we're getting stuff in. No, you're getting yeah, stuff in through other charities. And Allah knows best.